Ryan Pickett. I'm part of the Archimedes group, which also includes Bailey Hamilton, Dalton Cotton, and Tyler Sluderman over there behind the camera. Hey. All right. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our product and what we did. We made a product that's a teaching aid for introduction to machine analysis, taught right now by Mr. Loving. And we made it so that our product will be able to show all four of the Grashoff mechanisms, the rock, rocker, rocker, crank, rocker, rocker, crank, and double crank, as well as violate those criteria. Uh, we made it so that there are lasers in the path, so you, it'll trace the path um, of the links. It's also variable, completely variable, so that every link will change so that you can make all four of these without having to interchange links. Hope you like Here we have a list of our requirements, both customer and engineering. Uh, the customer wanted the object to be small, lightweight, and portable. Uh, he wanted it to be easy to use. He wanted to show the act, the results of the action, and the object must also be ran using gears. Therefore, the engineering requirements included the object must be able to be switched between modes by the operator in less than one minute. The object should have a mechanism that allows the path of the links to be traced for viewers to see. For this mechanism, we used the lasers you see here. And the uh, last engineering requirement was that the system must be driven using gears. Here, you can see our house of quality that we uh, constructed using our customer requirements and our engineering requirements. So once we finalized our design, we created a bill of materials. The most expensive part of the entire design was the printing the bars with the 3D printer. That was about $60 to print the bars for this. Um, the labor cost is estimated at $25. Two and a half hours at about ten dollars an hour, and the total cost came out to one hundred and seventy-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. The testing procedures we came up with, um, we had to be able to change it between all possible outcomes of graph shops criteria. So we set it up in each of the different outcomes and had to complete ten cycles uh, in order to show that it could be switched in less than a minute. We timed each member taking it from double crank to rocker rocker, which is the version that we guessed would take the most time to change. And then to see how long the laser would stay on the backboard, we tested it in different lighting situations and tested if it could be seen easily for 10 seconds. All right, I'm gonna do a quick product demonstration for you so that you can see how this product works. It's set up as a crank, crank, double crank right now, but it can be set up for, for any of those mechanisms seen earlier by just varying these links. As you can see, both of them completed one cycle, but you can just change these, change the length of these links and come out with a different mechanism depending on which links you choose. I hope you like it. The results from the testing were as follows. The device was uh, way more than the 10 pound requirement, coming in at 14.6 pounds. The device was able to uh, fit into the 24 inch by 24 inch by 24 inch cube, thus meeting the size requirement. It, the device can complete all mechanism cycles required. It was proven to be able to be switched between modes in 42.1 seconds, and the lasers were visible on the backboard for 9.5 seconds in ambient light and 28.85 seconds in dim light, which is typically the uh, scenario you will be able to uh, reproduce in a classroom setting. Uh, also, the device, the device was uh, powered by a worm gear and worm set. So some of the improvements from our prototype, as you see here, 
we added the lasers to show the relative motion between the links. Also, we added the gears in the back to drive the input link. And finally, we decided to change so that the output link moves instead of the input link to make production a little bit easier. And that's all for our presentation. Uh, we'd like to thank Dr. Jensen, Mr. Loving, and the Mechanical Engineering Department. And we'd also like to thank you, the viewer. Thank you.